It is my second time in Bernal, and I think you already know the shenanigans are about to begin. And by the way, my name is Maddie. You might know me from Tangerine Travels. This is my second channel that I'm just starting. I don't know where this is gonna go, but I hope you'll join me. <laughs> so I was told the last time we were here that it was a mistake that I didn't get this hat. I'm just so like, hats are so foreign. I'm not used to wearing them, but I love this like colorfulness here and they're a hundred pesos. And look, we would match and match. We could match. <laughs> we could match, hey. <laughs> I'm literally in Artesania heaven right now. I think these are coasters. They're like carved out of wood. And oh my gosh, so beautiful. It actually looks like my arm, <laughs> my tattoo. I gotta get this, I think. You think they're coasters? I think, I do think they're coasters. Yeah. And they're really pretty ones too. Yep, I had to go with five of these little like, what do you call these? Not cup holders. Uh, good yeah. <laughs> Words. Yeah. Um, Dude, coasters. Coasters. coasters, oh my gosh. <laughs> My brain just shut down right there. <laughs> Had to get five of these for 100 pesos. Such a steal. It is crazy the difference between 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. this morning. The amount of people like quadrupled. It's so overwhelming. I know. That's what I was trying to show all the people. That is not helping. Blowing up on a Sunday. Fireworks? Oh, yeah. Well, you can see the remnants of it. It's like from the top. Wow. Oh, 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 somebody's about to get hit. Toop, toop, go down. Oh, it's happening again. Just, you know, your average Sunday in Mexico with bombs going off everywhere. I love Bernal for many reasons. This town is so cute, a Pueblo Magico, and it is very magic. It's very magical to me, even with the toop toops driving by. But everywhere we go is like a photo op. Like here, I just took some pictures. No, Trisha just took Instagram. some pictures. Instagram. But like these beautiful Instagram. vines. <laughs> yeah, it's so pretty. And so many walls are like that. They're all painted, unique colors and stuff. I love it. So yeah, look here. We got. Work it, work it, yeah. 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 <laughs> Launching my modeling career. <laughs> You never know. You never know. <laughs> uh, sir, can I lend you a hand? <laughs> I was not expecting that. <laughs> oh, she's like you're cheese. missing something. <laughs> Have you eaten the cheese bread? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, what the? Okay, that was just your dress. <laughs> something touched my leg. What the hell was that? I told Maddie, I said, I think you've been eating the cheese bread. And I was like, what? Eating the cheese bread? Because, <laughs> girl, you are cheesy. <laughs> these are so gorgeous. They're like all hand woven. I think these are going to be belts, dog collars, maybe. And he said these over here are for tying around your hats. Those are a big one, a bigger one, and a thinner one. And I think these are bracelets. I was telling Maddie, I feel like people come here also to enjoy Bernal, but it's also really cheap. Like the hats that she was looking yeah, at were 100, 100 pesos. My earrings were 80 pesos, which is like $4. These are beautiful. Yeah. Like, I don't wear big, like, uh, ostentatious <laughs> jewelry. <laughs> but I feel like it's a proper place. But, anyways, all I say is that, like, the prices are really good here for us tourists. Yeah, it's, yes. it's really good. You would ex I would expect it to be a lot higher. If this yes. was in the Riviera Maya, it definitely would be. Yeah. Voy a llevar este brazalete, por favor. But it feels like a scorcher today, standing in the sun, I'm like, I'm melting, I'm melting. <laughs> Gracias. This is so beautiful. So bright and colorful. What do you think? Let's go with my outfit today, add a pop of color. <laughs> Since we're finally in a place that's cooler, I can actually look at things like these soft cardigans. <laughs> I can get my cardigan. <laughs> and of course it's pink. And it's pink. Ooh. One size, but it feels a little big. I love the hood. Oh, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> this is, it just changed everything. No, actually, I love uh, that it has a hood. <laughs> that's kind of funny. I kind of dig it. I, I mean, like it from the back, it loses, you know, yeah. my shape, but. ¿Cuánto cuesta? 690. Okay, gracias. Okay. 
It's just like the more we walk around, the more I'm like, it just keeps going and going and going. Sensory overload. I don't know what to take in, but I want to buy it all and I want to eat it all. <laughs> eat all of it, buy all of it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go broke here for sure. <laughs> so we came into this little tiendita yesterday with all like handmade, uh, I'm pretty sure all these are handmade, hand sewn things and you got one like this and I was cold yesterday. So I put it on and now I'm like, I kind of got to get one for myself or I'll just jack yours. <laughs> and if you saw my Instagram, the girl was singing in it. Oh, wearing this. It's a magical cardigan. It brought out the singer in me. I've never done that in my life. <laughs> and this girl can sing. Don't tell me what to do. Don't tell me what to say. Please, when I go out with you, don't put me on display. You don't own me. <laughs> Might be a hidden talent of mine. <laughs> all right, it's so hot right now, but <laughs> all right. My goodness, all this trying on of hats, my mane is like. <laughs> Gosh, look at the background. You should just pose. So what do we think? I think this is a winner, and it's 480 pesos. Yeah. It even matches my outfit right now. Oh, it's so soft. It's so like I love the tassels on the end. I think I'm gonna have to get it. Got a playlist to it. <sighs> so, am I selling you? You gotta get one? <laughs> get a commission, please? <laughs> just kidding. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get it. This is just, oh, so lovely. I also saw this dress and I really loved it and I'm gonna try it on, but then I realized <laughs> this is literally what I'm wearing but in a dress form. <laughs> I am so predictable. <laughs> so predictable, but so not predictable. When I tried this on yesterday, my thing was the top is a little, like, on the loose side. But it's so unique. I've never seen a dress that looks exactly like this. And then we got a little tie, Except which like is exactly, <laughs> exactly like my shorts, too, with the tie. It's so funny. Okay. I don't know. I, maybe the, the top being loose is okay. I thought it was looser yesterday, but... I think it's, it's okay. not too bad. And, like, and even it if you kind found of has like a, a cute, maybe a, a tank top to wear under it. Yeah. I like it, Maddie. I, I think I'm going to get it. Amiga, ¿cuánto cuesta la, el vestido? 550. 550? Okay, gracias. I'm so excited. <laughs> My first two pieces of clothing in Vanel. <laughs> first two. First two, and many more to come, I'm sure. Is it drinky drink time? <laughs> Is it vineyard time? Should I think so, maybe. <laughs> Yeah, I was just thinking, I was like, I need a michelada. You see everybody uh, walking yeah. around with micheladas. Uh -huh. Oh, let's go. Um, I remember seeing a promotion. I think it was like two for Wait, I'm like, something, three for something. You're like, Trisha. <laughs> ah. okay, everybody's like, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on to your hats. <laughs> Take this camera. <laughs> <laughs> Let the professionals handle yeah, it from exactly. here. <laughs> I just can't get over how beautiful this big monolith is. Like, I could stare at it literally all day, and it's such the centerpiece of this town. Oh. All right, we're back at it again with some hats. And this time, I saw a pink one. Pink is kind of my color because it brings out my eyes and my skin tone, so. And I love Definitely this thing on the. I love this, like, rim that it has. Oh. Oh. This fits. It's gonna stay on my head. The problem I've been having is that they all feel so loose that like if a big gust of wind came, just take it right off me. I like it. I think. I like it. I think this might. I yeah. do like it. Yes. And what does it match this to? <laughs> I'm getting a whole outfit out here. <laughs> it's a whole new Maddie. <laughs> Señorita, ¿cuánto cuesta el sombrero? Es 160. 160. Gracias. I think I'm gonna have to get it. Okay, so apparently my thing is bracelets today, and I never wear bracelets. The extent that I have on my wrist is my Fitbit and a bunch of hair ties, always the hair ties. Um, but I just came across this thing, like friendship bracelet style, like woven thing, and it's got a little charm of an owl on it and chain around the side. It's only 55 pesos. This one, what did I even pay for this one? 70. 70. 70. Yeah. So this is even cheaper than that. You're not kidding about the prices here. They're good prices. Now, 
Man, this is so pretty. Now I'm gonna have to figure out which of these I wanna wear with this outfit. <laughs> so this is actually the hotel we're staying at and I partially picked it because of these beautiful tiles on the outside and it's like right in the middle of everything, all these shops. And down this main street is where you can see the Peña, the beautiful monolith. Beautiful. But yeah, right outside this hotel is literally everything. There's like Mercado with the pan de queso, drinks, shops, artesanias, restaurants, literally everything. And then from up, I'll, I'll give you a little tour in a second, but from basically every vantage point, you can see this monolith. So this is our room at this hotel. It's called Hotelito. <laughs> And we got some options of pictures where we could stay, but this one had sunflowers galore. Like, look at this little table and, you know, coat hanger. Wait, why are we putting, we have all of our sweaters draped all over this and they've got a freaking <laughs> go rack. But like, okay, um, yes, obviously we've stayed here at night, so it's kind of messy, but like the head floors and stuff. Yeah, okay. <laughs> this is, let's make a little comparison here. Trisha's side of the room. <laughs> Maddie's side of the room. Can you tell anything about our personalities? <laughs> Ask my family. Uh, oh, but no, I love this. And um, it's a pretty spacious room. It's basic. I mean, it's relatively basic, but the beds were comfy. The sheets are nice. And then in this bathroom here, they've got like even more beautiful tiles and a bathtub. I thought I was going to be able to use it, but they have very limited hot water. So that's kind of a no. But the property as well, I mean, this hotel was way more extensive and expansive than I was thinking, but they've got so many cute details around it, so let me show you. This is what we got right outside of our room. Some more sunflowers and the tiles and some ta uh, benches and a little terrace. This is kind of a public area, but you know, we can come out here and enjoy a coffee or just the night air. You can see the monolith right here. And just this whole place is so historic, like got the arches and kind of a brick sort of Boveda style ceiling, more of these beautiful tiles. Got a interesting pool, no water in it for some reason. Then you go up these stairs. Again, more tiles everywhere, super pretty painting here. They also have this terrace with an even more spectacular view of this monolith. We've got some tables with an umbrella. You can chill out, probably have a drink up here. Oh my gosh, this view is phenomenal. You can kind of see around town too. There's like all these rooftop bars and rooftop terraces. We had a drink at one yesterday and it was glorious. But then you come out here and this is where they have the restaurant where we had breakfast this morning and they also have a bar. But I just love like all the little details, the colorful tiles and everything. And this, I don't know exactly what you call it, maybe an atrium or something, but even this like, banister with the holes cut out of it, more arches, different tiles, all these tiles, I love them. And then this looks down here to the tables of the restaurant and the bar. Ta-da! And this roof is astonishing. Like this is glass part letting in light and then wood surrounding it. It's kind of in like a star shape or a flower, sort of like the theme that they have. And right out there goes out to the street and that's where all the happenings that happen, happen. <laughs> Truth be told, this is a little more than I would typically pay for a room like this, but these are weekend nights. We're paying 1,550 pesos per night. That does include parking, which was really nice. We probably saved ourselves like $20 uh, for the three days that we're going to be here. And I like it though. It's a nice location. It's very peaceful and quiet back here. Definitely some music blasting once you get closer there, but I'm really happy we picked this. And the fact that it's all sunflowers is like room made just for Maddie. <laughs> so Maddie. Hello. Okay, so our grand master plan today was that we wanted to explore around the town and then go to a vineyard nearby. We did drive here, so we have my car, but I'm not keen on the drinking and driving thing, and I don't want to just go there for one glass of wine because it's 20 minutes away and like we want to have more of the whole experience. But apparently, all the they have for taxis here are these little tuk-tuks, but they won't take you all the, they won't that, they won't go that far. So you would have to get a tour, like pay for one of like these van tours, which are 650 pesos a person. And they do include lots of stops, but like that wasn't really what we wanted to do we today. We want direct drinking. <laughs> yeah, straight to the wine. <laughs> but uh, luckily one of the guys at the hotel here knows a friend and he's gonna take us for 350 pesos. And then we just have to figure out how to get back. <laughs> part, but, all part of the adventure. But first we go eat gorditas. Come on, 
sushi? Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, so it tastes really, really nice. rico. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> So where we were taken is this place that has always had a line, always, even on a Tuesday there was a line, weekend there's a line. I'm hoping that it goes fast enough since we only have 30 minutes to get back there for our taxi guy, but you know it's good if people are lining up, like consistently always. And it's called Gorditas El Negro. El, Negri El Negrito. Go no, little black guy. <laughs> little blackie, yeah. yeah little blackie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had to we had to bail on that line because it hadn't moved at all in like six, seven, eight minutes. So still on the hunt for gorditas. <laughs> <laughs> what? Still on the hunt. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Now we got our gorditas. <laughs> We're in a little bit of a rush, which is making me bringing on the anxiety. We gotta make our way through all these people and try to get back to the hotel for our driver to pick us up. <laughs> you can hear your anxiety in your voice. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> It's the Mexican way to be late, but for me, I'm like a 15 minutes early kind of gal, so... I'm so it, Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> they all get there. I'm trying, I'm trying to get there. I don't like making people wait, though. Back at our hotel, they're nice enough to let us sit here in the restaurant and munch on these delicious gorditas. <laughs> this part is made of corn, so I can actually have it because I can't have gluten. And then inside is chicharron. Got this delicious salsa. Put a little lime on it. And it was 20 pesos. the most interesting ATM experience of my life. Uh, not, <laughs> not super eventful, except in the fact that the bee that was in this taxi that got on my leg and I flicked it off somehow got in Trisha's hair. And so this is big, like a big, big puffy, puffy? Like, I don't know. It's, it's a fat, a, it's a good It was enough. a fat bee. So I'm like, Trisha, it's in your hair, it's in your hair. And she's like, get it out, get it out, get it out. I'm like, what, with my hand? <laughs> So then she's running around, I'm running around, there's this other guy at the door like probably going, wow, I didn't know I was gonna get cash out and a show. <laughs> oh, we get kicked out. Oh, wow. So, and the, that ATM was five minutes away from here. We picked Bodegas de Cote, has tons of reviews on Google Maps, so we thought this was a pretty surefire good time. Here we are, outside the vineyard because no food or outside drink is allowed as I kind of expected, but now I'm just munching on the side of the highway. Quite classy, I know. <laughs> and I must add that we were in a rush. So the poor girl, I eat really fast, done, dada. This girl eats really slow. So and poor I girl. I gave it my best yeah. effort. <laughs> so poor girl is like, well, just try to eat it before we get there and whatever. So, but we got here, we found a little, literally slice. Sliver of game. Provecho. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Buenas tardes, bienvenidas. Serían dos copas de vino claret. Sí. Es un vino semiseco, cosecha 2019, 12% de alcohol. Elaborado con tres tipos de uva, merlot, tempranillo y giras. De nada. Puede fresa, capalca, capoisa, un poco de cereza, un poquito de vino. Mmm, me gusta, es poco dulce, sí, fresco. Sí, ¿está bien? Mm -hmm. Sí, gracias. De nada. Is this what I'm about? Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> 
así. <risa> wow, ok. Que lo Gracias. disfruten. I am shooketh right now. It wasn't even a quarter of the bottle gone that he poured for our two glasses. This is not even close to a full glass of wine and it's 95 pesos. Yeah, I think like it's weird because as soon as we both walked in, I was like, I want to go to, and she goes, yeah, let's just give it a chance. And I'm like, you're right. Yeah, because she didn't even <laughs> finish her sentence, but I knew it was like, let's go to Freshenet because it's right over there. It's right next door. It's it like seems too like prissy almost. And it's just like we're at a restaurant. This isn't really being in a vineyard. I don't see any vines. No, those, but I think that's part of Freshenet. Right, and the other thing is that it's like, as soon as you walk in, they're trying to just sell you on a tour at that, Freshenet. That's all you can do. You, like, all you can, can either do. go on bikes or on foot or on something else, a bunch of tours, or you can come get your smallest glass of wine <laughs> ever at and the at, restaurant. And at least at Freshenet, you can like walk through the vineyard. You can mm -hmm. see walk they around. have like lots of food things going on and places to take pictures. It's almost like you're here, I don't know, just in this little box. Yeah. You can't get out of it. Yeah. So. Too many rules for me. We're gonna blow this popsicle stand. <laughs> We're blowing this pop stand. Pop stand? <laughs> a pop stand? We're blowing this pop stand. <laughs> We're blowing this vino stand. Oh gosh. Uh, this For this vineyard, that's gonna be a vino for me. Hard vino. <laughs> that's a good one, Maddie. Farach. <laughs> Yeah, I was just telling her, like, it's crazy how we both feel the same exact yeah. way. Like, we both were like, just let us finish this glass uh -huh. and get out. Let us finish this gulp, yeah. this <laughs> large sip of wine, and give me the check and we're fucking <laughs> leaving. I mean, give me the check and we are leaving. <laughs> and now we are once again on the side of the highway, <laughs> <laughs> trying to make the best of this. <laughs> it's the announcement. <laughs> De nada. We're at Finca Sala Vive, Freshenet. Good old, I mean, it feels so good and so comfortable Yes, yeah, so we already feel like, as soon as we sat down, we're like, we feel so much better, and Maddie's gonna pour a real glass of wine. Yes, look, oh, hold yeah. on, see, that's not even real. Because real would be about half the bottle is gone. Because there's four glasses in a freaking bottle, so that's how And it's how about to all be it. gone. And it's gonna be gone soon. Cheers. Salud. <laughs> Oh, and this time she brought our glasses, so we didn't have to pay for yes. the glasses. I just got these on Amazon. They're like the koozie type, so it stays cold longer. <laughs> okay, so um, here's one of my biggest fears in life. She said queso. Queso! <laughs> so one of my biggest fears in life is opening these guys. It's just like a rocket launcher. One time when I was a bartender, I got blasted in the face by a cork like this. I was taking it off and just... Right in the eye, right in the eye. Okay, here we go. Still makes me scream every time. Let's get this party started. Shaboom. Is that the sign you make for champagne? Shaboom. I mean, sha la la la. Should be more graceful and elegant. And this is how it starts. This is how it starts, starts. you guys. How it starts is with this beautiful champagne. Salute, my darling. Oh, what a sound. ASMR with the wine. Oh, that's really this sweet is, and good. So this is their Brut Rosé. I am a big fan. Yeah. Big fan. <laughs> Salud! Salud! Dang, I love that sound. We just realized, <laughs> with a little bit more wine, that we both remember this amazingly uh, old classic thing. Okay, ready? Bad. Oh. Bad. No, no, it's not even Mary back. <laughs> one, two, three, one, two, three. Ah! <laughs> Do you guys remember that? Because that's here. like fifth grade right yeah. there. <laughs> the last one the pass right there. <laughs> Once again, we're uh, closing this place down. <laughs> This we're place. professionals. Professional wine vineyard. No, not no. wine. Professional vineyard closers. <laughs> it's done. Fortunate. And fortunate. here, here's our private taxi. Yes. Señorita, mamacita, chiquita, bonita. Hola, Marco. ¿Cómo estás? So, this was a whole tryout in terms of a video. Let me know in the comments. I, I suppose, like. 
Do you want to see more videos like this or should I go in a different direction? Let her know like what kind of things you guys like to see. Um, explore Mexico, reaction videos, like yeah. whatever it is, ASMR. ASMR. <laughs> I think it's really cool that she's trying this, she's stepping out on her own and just doing something new, fun, and something fun to experience. Yeah, Tangerine Travels is great and don't get me wrong, I'm not going to stop doing videos over no. there, but like as a little hobby on the side, it's like why not? So let me know. See you guys maybe in the next video. Next time. See you.